how many times have you arrived at a caravan park, you go to back up onto your site and you realise, well, maybe this is going to be a little harder than you first thought. Well, there's a new product available. It's called the Reverse Mate, and it makes the whole process of backing onto a site nice and easy, especially if you're a solo traveller. And I'm gonna show you how it works. Well, let's open it up and see what you get in the box. Looks like everything comes in a nice, handy carry bag. Now, it is essentially a system of high-vis markers. As we can see, you've got reflective tape. Everything's painted in a nice, bright orange. And it is a matter of placing these markers in an appropriate spot, which I'm going to show you right now. Now, the first thing to do is to roughly measure the body length of your caravan. Now, you can step it out. You don't have to be precise. Now, it's a good idea to start your measurement from the rear arm of your awning because that's going to ensure that the awning comes out over the slab. As I said, it can be a rough measurement, so we'll just step it out, starting in line with this awning arm. One, two, three, four. So look, we'll roughly call that four metres. And you would do the same with a larger van. You know, you might have a van with a body length of say six and a half metres. It really doesn't matter. Right now it is just about understanding the length of your caravan. And of course you only need to do this once. Once you know your rough measurement, you'll carry it with you wherever you go. Now the next step is to decide where you want the back of the van to come up to. In this case, we have a water main right here, so we don't want to touch that. We want to be nice and safe. And what we want to do is roughly measure out 2.8 metres from the start of the concrete slab. One, two, and roughly 2.8 metres. 2.8 metres, we can place the marker. But of course, if you want to be more precise, you can be because they've included a built-in measuring tape for both markers. That's 2.8 metres. Okay, 2.8 metres. That's pretty close. Now, the next step is to set out our second marker. We're going to put this again 2.8 metres out from the slab, but 4.5 metres from this marker towards the front of the site. Now remember, 4.5 metres is the distance from the rear awning arm to the front of the van. And you know what? You really don't need to measure this. You can just step it out. One, two, three, four, four and a half. And then we just set up our marker. We can just put this roughly in line and that should be about right. 2.8 metres. But for the sake of being precise, let's measure it anyway. So you might be wondering why we're measuring 2.8 metres out from the concrete slab. Well, let me explain. When you back the caravan in, you want to keep the wheel about 300 mil away from this marker. When you swing the van around, that's going to be about 300 millimetres away. Subtract 300 millimetres off 2.8, that's 2.5 metres. Width of the van is about 2.4 metres and that's going to leave you with about 100 millimetres of clearance between the caravan and the concrete slab. It's really quite clever. Well, there's only one thing left to do and that's to put this reverse mate to the test and see just how much easier it makes this entire process. Now, the great thing about this system is that I only need to use the one mirror, the driver's side mirror. Of course, we're going to look everywhere around us and make sure everything's nice and safe, but I can clearly see those markers in my driver's side mirror and just having that visual reference is going to make things so much easier. Okay, let's give it a go. Seat belt on. Now I've driven a fair way up from the marker and I'm really impressed with how clearly I can see it. Okay, I can see the wheel is approaching that marker now. I'll start swinging it around. You wanna have plenty of room, not rush it. Those markers make it so much easier. Line the back of the van up with that marker, that's perfect. Okay, we'll just straighten it up a little bit. Lining up the back of the van. Spot on, I reckon that looks pretty good. Let's get out and take a look. I'm actually really happy with this. I mean, we set out to make the van roughly 100 mil away from the concrete slab. And you know, I'd say that's about 100 mil. The van's nice and straight, first go. And that's the first time I've ever used the reverse mate before. It was very easy to set up. 
and I just couldn't be happier. Another feature of the reverse, mate, well, they've remembered to include some handy lights. So that's gonna make it much easier to reverse your van in on site at night time. We have an amber light for the rear marker, while the leading marker is a nice white light, which can double as a work light. And of course, it comes with the necessary batteries. Well, my observation is the reverse, mate, is really well made. You've got 316 stainless steel bolts, you've got the nylon washers, which aren't gonna rub or rust. And even if you need to replace the measuring tape, they can supply those as spare parts, all pre-drilled so they go straight in. You can even get replacement LEDs. Honestly, it's like they're thought of everything. But more than that, it's really just a good invention. I don't know how, but the maths involved, it all just works out. As you can see, I got the van in, first time and I see no reason why it wouldn't work for you as well. So if you feel a little intimidated by the thought of backing up a caravan or if you're traveling alone you're not going to have somebody to guide you in definitely look at the reverse mate. One other thing if you find yourself stuck well the box has a QR code just scan that you'll find more info otherwise just go to reversemate.com.